tuning in to Purse Empowerment TV. I'm your host, Shawnee Curry St. Ville, and all month long, we're going to be talking about how to save some money when you're getting ready to send your children to college. So this is a great conversation for those of you who have students that are just becoming freshmen. It's an excellent conversation for those of you that are transitioning your students from high school into college, okay? Um, to have this conversation is actually someone that I took a college tour with, okay? Uh, his name is Antonio King of King College Tours. So that first tour was 16 years ago? Yes, it was. Wow. Okay, so 16 years ago, you guys do the math. We're not talking about age right now. We're talking about how to save money when sending your children to college. So that is the focus. Don't be doing no math. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, Antonio, you get, you get students together. Yes. Uh, every year, sometimes you do this maybe more one, two, three tours within the year. And what you're saying is the most important thing is for if you're really trying to save money that you want to do this as soon as possible. Yes, you parents, you should start early. Okay. If you're trying to save some money while sending your students to college, please start early. Um, it's it studies show that students that go visit colleges in middle school mm -hmm. tend to go to college and transition in from high school into a four-year university. So start early, get your students exposed to the college atmosphere. Mm -hmm. um, if your parents didn't go to college, then talk about it, speak mm -hmm. to it, mm -hmm. send them to football games, let them do things that are to give them the exposure to college because it's the motivation that they need. Um, those are those are the, the beginning stages of going to college. Start mm -hmm. very early in the Start process. Start very early. So what I'm thinking about when it comes to the money is that the sooner you know how much you got to pay, you know how much you got to play, <laughs> right? Absolutely. 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 So important. if you're going on this college thing. tour, you have the opportunity. One of the biggest things that people are always trying to decide is the difference between a public university and a private university. So if I were to take my children with me on a college tour and what... How, what are some distinctions between private and public? Because some people don't know the difference. Sometimes they think, you know, public is just within my neighborhood or public is just a larger school. They don't understand. So what, if they go on a college tour, how will that be opened up for them? Going on a college tour will show the students that, hey, a public university is a state funded school. So the funds are subsidized from the state to support the university. Mm -hmm. That's why the costs for public universities are always, not always, but most times cheaper to go to a public university than go to a private university. So we got a couple, you're loading me up. So let me just, let me just unload it just a little bit for those of you that are listening. So the first thing that we want to talk about, the first thing that we want to say is number one, you want to make sure you do this as soon as possible. So if you have a freshman, that will be an excellent time to go ahead and holla at your boy and see if you can take them on a college tour. Okay. So that they can start getting that level of exposure to it and they can start making the distinction between private versus a public university okay so that's that's number one right off the bat and now you're starting to go into what you're going to get for that money so if you go on a college tour you're going to be able to lift that brochure straight up off the page absolutely mm -hmm. so going on a college tour will get you exposed to the campus itself all of the campuses and the most important thing about going on a college tour is you get a chance to get a real, a true feel of the campus to see if this... Right, because if somebody's saying, this is what you're going to get for $16,000, wouldn't you like to be able to see what $16,000 would get you? Absolutely, and you want to know how it feels as well. Like, mm -hmm. when you get on campus, most students that go on college tours, once they hit the campus, they know automatically, this is home. Mm, excellent. So. Wow. Okay. So number one is that you want to do this as soon as possible. Number two, that college tour is going to help you some money. So your children don't have to be transferring in three semesters and four semesters because they didn't really be able to understand the culture of the university. And then another big thing that you were telling me about on these college tours is people get to talk to actual students. Right. So that's one of the most important things about the college tours mm -hmm. is giving an opportunity to speak to actual students there mm -hmm. on campus. Mm -hmm. Once we do tours, we kind of bring in students that come from the same area or cities or sometimes schools, if it's, if it's possible. Mm -hmm. And we say, hey, students, ask these kids what's going on. Ask questions like, how did it feel to transition from high school to college? Are the classes hard? Are the professors hard? And that kind of helps the student 
just make make them feel at home and it's very important i keep on saying home because you're going to be there for four years and you're mm-hmm. investing your money into this college this school this city this atmosphere you want to make sure that you're spending it for four years and not wasting it in a place that you're going to come for a year and just leave and then reinvest somewhere else so that's it's very important to get on campus and speak to the students look at the atmosphere uh, get an opportunity to just see what it feels like in the community. So we, we try to do that on the tours to make the students kind of feel at home in every city. Okay. And then it, I think it would be awesome if during these college tours, do they get to kind of get a feel for the professors at all? Kind of see what the professors are like or more than just because I know a lot of times they have these orientations or they'll have like these college tours and they kind of just say, this is the dorm room. This is where people eat. This is the books and things like that. And they do a little hurrah hooray. But you would really, if you're going to be spending that amount of money, it would be awesome if you can get an idea for what your professors was going to be like. Well, as you know, every professor is absolutely different. Yes. But what you could do is Mm -hmm. go on these college tours and pick your your top two or three schools. Mm -hmm. And as parents, you can come back and schedule meetings or go to office hours and talk to the professors and ask specific questions so that you can get a feel one-on-one as to, is this going to be the major for me? Is this a school for me? Is this the college for me? Because... Every professor is absolutely different and you have to, just like anything else, you deal with people in certain ways that that's best to be dealt with yes. because it's very hard <laughs> to deal with, you know, Peter the same way you deal with Paul. Exactly. Peter and Paul are different. Absolutely. Got so, it. I mean, it's, it's, it's a great experience for students to get out there and see what campus is like, get exposed to it. They're able to speak to students and they learn about the money and... And more importantly, parents, it's good for them to get out there and just explore on their own because mm-hmm. this is their entry into the real world. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of you're holding their hand, but mm-hmm. you're kind of letting them go and just dangling them and saying, make sure you make this work in the world. Yeah, right? make sure this works. Okay. So um, I'm just going to run over some of the points just to make sure, sure that everybody heard um, some of the things that can, if you go ahead and send your children on the college tour, how it can help you save some money. Number one, it gives you the opportunity to compare, okay? Because it's difficult to kind of compare a school when all of them are just laid out on this pamphlet. It gives you the opportunity to confront. And you know you need to confront that money because if they're saying $16,000 over here and they're saying sixty. Two thousand dollars over here you need to kind of understand well what is this money for you also have the opportunity to look into say the difference between a public or a private university because sometimes those acronyms and those words can just kind of be in your head you're like what are you talking about so going on a college tour can absolutely help you do that you also nailed culture i really like that so for those of you who need to feel for a culture i like you say when people go on the college tours they can say hey this is home for me so being able to really delve in and look into the culture is right up there with stuff that's going to save you some money because you don't want to pay for your children to go to this school and then when they get there they're like "Eh, what's that so that's another way to save yourself some time and some money um i do hope that you guys feel richer i feel that you guys should feel a lot richer but if you don't coming from the college tour guy um who knows how much these uh colleges are going to cost you we're going to ask him to go inside of his pockets And I'm going to go inside of my purse and I'm going to need you to open up your spiritual purse, your auntie's purse, your cousin's purse, financial aid's purse, uh, Sally Mae purse. And you you need to make it rain if you're going to be paying for one semester. Books, (laughs) food, room and board. If you want to go to a party. All of that. All right, you ready? I'm ready. So go in your pockets, Antonio. Okay. And you get you some of that money. You guys ready? (laughs) All right. As always, I feel richer connecting with you. If you were able to find at least one thing that added some value to your purse or your wallet, we need you to do just three things. We need you to actually like the video. We need you to share it. And we need you to drop that comment. Until next time, do at least one thing that's going to add some value to your purse.